hey guys welcome back to my channel hope the july weather is treating you well <laughs> it is for me um yeah welcome to my channel if you're new here karibu sana my name is jane i do create content around lifestyle vlogs and motivation videos and currently i've been focusing on motherhood content because that's uh, my current experience at the moment and i do hope that you're getting to learn something from this as well um yeah as you can see it's really cold it really is cold july has hit has hit home july has hit home so first of all i wanted to thank you guys for the support you have shown me um on the video on the baby is here video like hey you guys it's like everybody was waiting for this arrival so <laughs> i just want to say thank you so much for the support you have shown um towards that video and if you have just joined us karibu sana here we're just all about love life and everything nice so i wanted to share with you guys my um i don't know if to call it maternity experience or to call it delivery experience but really just um how i went through i didn't call it labor and delivery because technically i didn't go through labor but yeah it's just my delivery experience and hoping that it's going to help someone out there so let me start by saying that this is not a paid promotion it is just my experience from the hospital that i gave birth in uh, and i was admitted on the same day um, that i went to hospital so that was around 9 a.m as you can see this was a preparation period where we were waiting to go into theater with my hubby so we just took this time to to praise and to pray and to pray over everything pray over our child pray over the theater process pray for the doctors and just you know commit everything to god in prayer and then i was taken into theater at around 10 a.m so the procedure didn't take long by 10 45 my baby had already uh, come to the world and then so i was then transferred to the recovery room so this was around 11 30 and i think the medication that they had given me had started easing off so there was a lot of pain um they did give me a painkiller but by the time it took effect yo guys whew, it was painful so and then i was transferred to my postpartum room once everything was checked to be okay and this time i was really guys this was it this was like the labor period for me because i was hungry i was cold i couldn't take anything i was in pain because um the painkiller had weared off and the nurse had told me that i would need to take another three hours before they could they could administer the next dose so this was hubby gassing me up telling me i still look pretty i got this praying for me and yo guys <laughs> i truly love this man then uh they uh, did administer a painkiller at around 3 p.m and then they brought the baby to me and and when my baby was brought to me i just prayed 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 over my baby i prayed for health i prayed for life i prayed for everything i just protected her with the blood of jesus and i believe that that is very important for us as mothers please always commit your child in prayer because this world ain't safe guys this world ain't safe just pray 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 always cover your children with the blood of the son um jesus christ and believe have faith that indeed uh, it is so and the pain reduced at around 4 p.m uh, and then uh so that was the first day uh then on the second day um like from the first day to the second day there was absolutely no pain i think because now they were administering painkillers after every two to three hours or i that's what i assume because i was not under any pain then on the third and fourth day i was put on oral medication so they usually change this to just ensure that you don't have any adverse reaction because that's the medication they're going to give you when they discharge you from the hospital which worked quite fine uh so 
guys here i was parking and when parking i realized that the nairobi women's hospital actually does give you a package so they did give me this package on the first day but i don't know for some reason i never opened it i only opened it when i was parking to go back home and then i realized oh they actually provided everything a towel a face towel there was tissue um toothbrush toothpaste soap all those things were provided for uh, and i think because the first time i didn't experience that so i didn't really think that that is what had been provided uh, but lo and behold so <laughs> it hospitals are different and i what i liked about nairobi women's is that they provide all these things for you uh also by the way the vision you remember guys when i was doing my pack my hospital bag with me i told you i showed you the shoes that i was up the sandals that i was supposed to come out of the hospital with lo and behold my feet were so swollen guys i could not put on that sandal i could not put on that sandal so the vision died there and then <laughs> and i had to just be discharged with those slippers that the hospital had provided because yo let me tell you we plan but god establishes our plans so i'm not angry at all i really really um, embraced this process there are so many changes that came with it uh, when i came from theater i was dark uh, uh, my skin had darkened my feet were swollen my hands were swollen like my body had just completely changed but it's part of the process it's part of embracing motherhood and i did enjoy it also highly recommend the hospital because all the doctors that I interacted with all the nurses everyone who was in the theater like they were just the best for me and I really did enjoy my experience um, that's why I'm sharing it with you guys so I would highly recommend the Ogin at the hospital he's called dr aniku so if you're looking for a gynecologist i would highly highly recommend him uh he's very um he explains to you the process like uh, if, if you have any questions if there's anything that you need clarity on his he gives you like what the information you need the way it is and then allows you to decide how you want to move forward so i would highly highly recommend him uh, also the anesthetist anesthetist whew, at the theater i think his name was dr ogola very cool guy very cool guy so it was um yeah i, I really did enjoy my experience and so for the remaining three days i was not in any pain i was okay everything worked out fine uh we were discharged without any issues and uh yeah grateful to god for that because it was an answered prayer let me tell you guys please pray 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 for uh, the process, pray for yourself, pray for your child, pray for your family. Always commit everything in prayer. Don't ever think anything is too small or too big. Just pray, leave it in God's hands because if it's in God's hands, you are safe. I believe that 100% and I do hope you believe the same as well. Please pray, commit the process of a hospital, commit even the pregnancy just in God's hands because he will take care of you 110%. I am positive about that. And so, yeah, that is my delivery story, guys. I'm also joining my faith with you if you are expecting, if you are... Um, working hard to expect a baby is that how you say it if you're looking forward to um get pregnant if you have a difficult pregnancy if there are just complications i am joining my faith with yours and praying that god really comes through for you and god allows you to see your bundle of joy at the end of this journey because it's not an easy journey but god eases it out for us but yeah, I think, yeah, generally that was my experience at Nairobi Women's and um, I'm, I've, I've, of course I've inserted clips to show you guys how the process was. I do hope that uh, if you're looking for a hospital, you would actually consider going there because uh, the experience was really good. Yeah, uh, and that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, if you're new, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it if you became part of this growing family and see you guys in the next video bye